Hey everyone, this is Comics Villain. Welcome again to another episode of Indie Spotlight. Today we'll be discussing T-Bird and Throttle, book three of four. Currently funding, terrible truths are revealed in third re uh, thrilling chapter of T-Bird and Throttle. Created by Josh Howard, they've made so far $15,522 by 304 backers. 103% of their $15,000 goal, so they just made it fantastic for them but they still have six days left so i think we can definitely get that up higher let's look at the perks looks like you get for twenty dollars you get the physical uh, physical copy of it so print copy of third chapter of uh, t-bird and throttle 50 plus pages looks like it's going to ship around february 2020 113 have been claimed the digital is going to be 10 still looks at it to be february shipping for all of these oh man look at that there's quite a few wow okay so the rest look like original um covers some commissions original art to get drawn in uh some splash pages original page art and uh man i can't believe how much actually got sold out and uh it's it's quite a bit. Some of these are, you know, one out of one claimed kind of a thing. Uh, and they go up to $200 and $300 and 250 uh, But then down here, they have some that are uh, like 50 out of 50 claims. So that's a $40 bundle. Oh, okay. It's a $40, $40 bundle over here. But that's claimed. Uh, so let's keep going back so books all right so digital for digital copies of these uh it looks like what are we getting book zero one two and three uh 11 of these have been claimed so if you want to know about the series you can put in 25 bucks and get over 180 pages of content that's that's fantastic and i i do agree that more can, uh, more campaigns should do this. If you have, you know, book three, book four, book five, I say it's a good idea. It really is a good idea to offer this for people that are new to the series. Because you know there are going to be some. I mean, look at this series itself. 11 people claimed this. Maybe somebody wasn't able to get the previous books. Maybe you have one or two of them. You know, you can, you know, keep the one that you got or, um, you know, sell it, whatever, if you have extras. Uh, say you already got one and two, but you didn't get zero. So there you go. Uh, this is an alt... Uh, why I don't know. Alternative. Um, get a copy of the all-new Book 3 Plus, Zero, One, and Two, with all-new alternative tribute covers. Whoa, very nice. Look at that. 76 of these have been uh, claimed. Dang, dude, that is really cool. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of this uh, book before. I definitely would have talked about this. All right, original art for 100 bucks. Four out of five of these are claimed. Uh, nine by 12 bust commission. So get original black and white bust commission on nine by 12 Bristol board. Character of your choice. Whoa, very nice. I like when we have the option to choose. Also includes book three and variant covers of books zero, one, and two. Seven out of ten claimed. Get these and get them fast. They are going. What is up with this campaign, man? Why did I not know about this? <laughs> this is cool. Uh, original art, uh, T-Bird, Moon Men. So for $200, a page of original art from book two of T-Bird battling the Moon Men. Measures 11 by 17. Very nice. On Bristol board. Uh, includes the books uh, three and zero one and two variant covers dude i'm loving all this this is crazy uh original art t-bird monsters this is two hundred dollars original art from issue number zero of t-bird battling the billy sneed monster very very nice very nice very nice 500 bucks you get original hand-drawn black and white cover art of the book two new mutants tribute uh cover <laughs> okay so you can i actually funny enough i have that book i have the original of that so very cool definitely liking that 
then lastly there's a one of a kind cover edition uh you you're the art director huh working with josh you will decide on an image for your very own one of a kind cover that's a first issue of your choice that's right only one will ever be printed and it'll be yours uh you'll also receive the original uh the original art to go along with it final image subjected to approval no pornographic or out of character content please so you get quite a bit with this your own cover hmm I feel like something like that actually would go down well uh, with with a lot of different artists. Uh, it would be kind of cool to see something like that. I mean, there are people that are willing to... Original cover, let's see. I think there's a lot of people that, are, that would be willing to do something like that if the price is right, you know, and if, for the right artist. I don't know what would be the right price for this. You know, or even for an artist that I really, uh, that I know about and would want. Like, I don't know what the amount would be for that one. But man, is this cool or what? All right, let's 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 check all this out. I really do like the uh, character designs. we we'll be drawing a little inspiration from a few different things here. Because it all looks rather familiar, you know. Okay, so we're going to go... To, uh, to the overview, I appreciate that it's not uh, super long. Uh, the long ones, man, they, they, they kill me. All right, let's do this. Overview, T-Bird unleashed. Mitch returns to Earth to confront his enemies while his daughter Emily is forced to choose between standing with her father or joining the outrage mob. Nice. Uh, the truth behind the conspiracy is revealed in T-Bird and Throttle Book 3. After two successful campaigns... T-Bird and Throttle is back with its third chapter. Inspired by the comics and cartoons of the 80s and 90s, T-Bird and Throttle is a story about comic book heroes and villains ah, and what defines them and how those definitions shift with changing times. You can kind of see a little something in the background with this cover where it's like there's a big T with a, uh, you know, uh, you know, an anti T-Bird, I guess, sign. Uh, T-Bird lied, Moon Men died, abort the engine. Wow, close hanger. All right, uh, let's keep going. What what vibe am I getting from this artwork? Is it like Justice League? It's Justice League, isn't it? This is definitely like a Justice League vibe. All right, uh, so continuing on. Who am I? My name is Josh Howard, and I've worked as a professional comic book writer, artist for over 15 years. I am best known for my indie action horror series, Dead at 17, published by Image Comics. My other creator-owned work includes Black Harvest and The Lost Books of Eve. I've also done illustration works for DC Comics, there it is, IDW, Mattel, and Netflix. What's T-Bird at Throttle about? After being granted incredible powers by a mysterious alien engine, uh, astronaut Mitchell Maddox, Maddox uh, rose to fame as T-Bird, defender of Sentinel City. Or Centennial, sorry. Oh, very nice name. Centennial City. Uh, until the day a horrific tragedy robbed him of everything. Now, ten years later, Maddox sets out to revive his glory days as T-Bird. But the demons of his past have other plans. Oh, you could read the prequel page here. Or the prequel 16-page uh, issue. Re read the first 30 pages of book one for free right there. Just in case you guys are like interested and want to check this out. That might not be a bad idea. I really like the artwork. Oh, excuse me. Um, what I need and what you get. After two successful crowdfunding campaigns for T-Bird and Throttle, I'm now looking to fund the third chapter in a planned four-part story arc. Each book, except number uh, zero, runs 50-plus pages, and book three will be no different. If this campaign is successful... The funds earned will go towards printing, shipping, and production costs, as well as keeping the lights on while I work to complete book three. And don't worry, 
If you missed out on the first two campaigns, I am offering 0, 1, and 2 again. There are li a limited number of original cover sets available, as well as a new run of all new tribute covers that uh, homage some of the great covers of the past. As you can see here, like with She-Hulk, uh, with Batman, with uh, the New Mutants, I, I do have that cover. Or that, that book, I'm say sorry. It's very cool to see that. Uh, $17,500 for the stretch goal. If the goal is surpassed, we, uh, an all-new pinup section will be added to issue zero. So, I'm guessing that's... I don't know if that's this or not. I really don't. But, a uh, new pinup will be added to issue zero. It'll be a tribute cover featuring pinups by me and some awesome guest artist. Here's a sample. So, I guess so. Very cool look. Very cool look. So, is he's robotic? I'm, I'm guessing. That's kind of what that looks like. Left to right, Josh Howard and Otis Frampton. Here's what people are saying about it, so you guys can definitely check it out. There's quite a bit here. It'd be funny if I saw myself. Um, yeah. I, it, it's funny, because these are all, like, kind of blurred out, but I know... I, I You can... Okay, well, if you're on Twitter often and you know... Uh, you, you might know some of these some of these people... It's blurred out, but I can tell who's here. <laughs> I kind of find that funny. I don't know. Anyway, very cool. How Rad Comics. Very cool. Howard Comics? How Rad? Hmm. Uh, risks and Challenges. I'm a one-man production team writer, artist, colorer, and letterer. Very talented. Wow. While this makes me slower than a lot of creators who only handle one or two tasks, it also minimizes a lot of potential delays since I'm never waiting around on commission... Oh, sorry, on communication or work from other team members. I've been making my own comics for, whoa, 15 years. And have good grasps on what it takes to create and deliver a... Just think about that. 15 years. 15 years. My God. Yeah, he, I mean, he's been in the industry, so... For, for quite some time. Uh, and deliver a professional product in a timely manner. Wow. I say the best of luck. Uh, I hope things go well. And I can definitely see them going well. This looks like a really cool cast of characters. Especially the one on the left. It's like kind of a, I don't know, like a mix between Doctor Strange and Batman. And I don't know, maybe a few other characters. It's a very cool look. Uh, the next character over, kind of like another Batman-esque character, mixed with a little uh, Spider-Man 2099, some Cyclops, or X-Men, I don't know. <laughs> There's like a lot mixed in there. Uh, the next two look pretty original. Uh, I, I, I like when you when you see characters that actually do have like hairy arms, kind of like the whole, you know, uh, old versions of like Wolverine. Um, and I guess some of the new ones, they still have that. But you don't see a lot of characters that 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 do have that, you know. Even though there's lots of people that that have, you know, like hairy bodies. Uh, <laughs> raise his hand. Um, and the next one over, the next few over, very unique, very unique characters. Have to know more about them though. The alien looks really cool. I'm guessing that's a zombie at the end. Very cool. So guys, uh, definitely check this out. Sorry, I've been yawning a lot. I, I've got so little sleep last night. Uh, yeah, that character is really cool. So they kind of get into a slugfest here. Uh, definitely check this out. It looks to be something quite interesting. Uh, if you already know about it, you know maybe post up a few comments on what you can say about this uh, this series. Huh. I wonder what that girl's name is. It's a unicorn. Uh, so yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you like the video, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. Help me reach that 1,000 subscriber milestone. Uh, like, share. Yeah, sharing is caring. I'd appreciate that. And comment on this. And please help support our indie creators. Help them uh, grow with their series, with their careers, and we can make 
whole new universes. We can help them to make whole new universes of characters that we could love and, you know, see new interesting projects emerge out of the future. You never know. This might get a TV deal one day. This might become a movie one day. But it's up to us to support these, to see where it goes. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching the video. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Have a great rest of your day.